Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Wade. Um, this is Trivia Hardiman. Um, I was Karis's really good friend um, here at California State University in our master's screenwriting program. Um, I cannot express how much I am just in shock of how this happened. Um, and my condolences go out to you and her family. Um, I completely understand how you're feeling because in a way when we were out here in grad school she became our family member because grad school is like you're gonna see these people until you graduate you're stuck with these people until you graduate and I was lucky and blessed enough to be stuck with Karis because she was great I have nothing but good things to say about her and that's honestly from the heart. Hello, my name is Chris Drone. Uh, I was, I'm a classmate of Karis's uh, at Cal State Fulton in the graduate program for our MFA in screenwriting. Firstly, I wish to express my deepest uh, condolences to you, Mr. and Mrs. Wade, and also to all of Karis's family and friends out there. I know there's no easy way to uh, to cope with any loss, especially one of Karis, someone who was extremely charismatic and always and always had something to say with all of our uh, work and also willing to uh, accept uh, all praise and criticism on her own work. That's so grad school, you're, you're with these people for however long the duration of your program and I was happy to be to, um, to know Karis and to know that this is going to be somebody I'm graduating with and this is going to be somebody who could I eventually could partner with you know in writing and I even got a taste of that just with her being in the classroom um, um, we hung in the classroom we hung outside of classroom um, I could honestly consider her my best friend a best friend that uh, even in this short amount of time she became my best friend and she had such an impact on my life even though we only had a semester and um, or two semesters together. Today, I celebrate Karis, her life, her work ethic, her talent, and her beauty. Karis is an amazing young woman, and I'm glad she came to California. She was a very uh, charismatic person, always full of, uh, full of life and energy. Day by day, we still feel her missing from our own lives. She was like family within our program. She was just amazing, and I wouldn't have wanted to meet someone else. She was there to provide advice for me when I needed it, and um, I always say that she lived up to her name because she truly did care. <laughs> you know, she was so caring, and. I'm actually honored to even present this video to you because I want to meet the parents responsible for creating such a perfect young woman. Um, um, it's just, you know, none of us expected this, you know, none of us, you don't expect this with anyone, you know, with you, you see these people and, you know, you know for sure that they're going to be in your life forever. Um, and so I know we're all shaken up. We're all taken back by it. We're all in shock and we're all grieving. But that's one thing we all have in common is that we're all grieving over a beautiful individual. And we can't even come together through that. And we'll all be able to um, move forward because I'm sure that's what she want, would want us to do. And, um, you know, I'm just glad that I got to see the kind of work that she did. Um, just reading her scripts and knowing that she was a novelist and um, she just had so much dedication and ambition and it was, it was just, a, it was like a, reading a celebrity really because she just pretty much had everything, <laughs> you know. Um, like I said, there's nothing bad I can say about her. Um, I haven't stopped crying since I heard the news. And I don't know when I'm going to stop crying, but um, 
I just know this isn't the end. You know, I definitely, I mean, I believe in God. I know she believed in God. And I know she's in heaven with Jesus, which is the best place to be. And um, we can always tell God to, you know, tell her hi. And I'm sure she'll be smiling down on us. I know there's no easy way to cope with any kind of loss. The only thing what I can uh, say, which I hope may help, is just cherish the memories and time that you have with her. She'll always be with you uh, within those memories, and she'll still continue to include her own words and advice to you of within the memories of her. <laughs> so she was just very inspiring and even the times that she may not have known it, um, but she she had an impact on a lot of us, a lot of us, because class will not be the same. Meeting different people, experiencing different things, learning about yourself. And in life, there are signs. Some of them we see, some of them we see too late. <laughs> some of them we don't see at all. And we learn from those experiences. Sometimes you park. And it could be for years, could be just for a couple minutes, months, days, what have you. But you're always traveling, you're never just there. You're always going somewhere. And like on a highway, you see so many people that past and you don't know their life story, you don't know anything about them, but they could be so much like you. Some of the people that we do meet, we wish that we hadn't. We wish that they were strangers. It's just amazing. I wrote dedicated to Karis. It is called A Girl Named Karis. What do you get when you mix smart, mature, talented, and lovable? You get a girl named Karis. A girl who lived up to her name because she truly did care. A girl who corrected you when you said something bad about yourself. A girl with great hair. She was fun. She was funny. She had all the qualities of a perfect personality. What she meant to me, no one will ever replace. I think about her every day. I still see her pretty face. She brought joy to everyone she encountered. Most distinctly, I still hear her laughter. Her presence resonates with you. Her talent touches your heart. A writer, a director, and radio host, Karis was a true work of art. Her main goal was to be kind to everyone she knew. She embodied rare gifts. I'm so blessed that I got to meet you. You became my best friend in this short amount of time. More than any other friend I had, you were one of a kind. What do you get when you mix smart, mature, talented, and lovable? You get a girl named Karis A. Wade. A girl with a smile so moving, a girl who made an impact, a girl I would have never imagined losing. Her middle initial is A, but we all know spiritually it stands for angel. Because she was an angel here on earth, now she's doing the Lord's work. I will miss sitting by her in every class we had. I will miss walking with her from class to class. But I'm thankful for the memories we now have. Karis inspired me to become a better person. She set her mind to something and made sure to get it done. 
So this is what you get when you mix smart, mature, talented, lovable. You get a girl named Karis. She is one in a million. Thank you.